Okay, YouTuber is a real quick one for you here today. I uh, was going to keep this for another couple of days before publishing it, but I thought this is such an interesting find, I'll publish it straight away. Um, I've already put this up on Mars Magazine here, and you can see what it says here. Latest from Mars, calcified something boy. I'm not going to say that certain word because of the censorship on YouTube. Even common terms and words are now banned on the YouTube, and if you mention them or even put them in your title or description, the video will get demonetized or you could even be deleted, as well as your channel. So there we are. Very large cranium for shortened body with limbs and visible genitalia. Here it is up close. You can see here, very large head, an ear, two eyes, a nose, a mouth, a little chin, a very small body, with what looked like genitalia here. There's details here. I'll show you that a bit closer in a minute. I don't think this is a doll. Uh, a doll wouldn't have this detail. Very small little short legs with little toes here. You can see a toe, a big toe there. I can see toes on this one. Okay, uh, this is absolutely insane. I was quite shocked when I found it the other night. Um, as you can imagine, I found lots of similar things in the area, but not quite like this. Uh, most of them are animals that have died and become calcified in the, the minerals and, and sulphur in the, in the sand and salty lake bed, which was once very rich in these preservative minerals, okay? So I don't think this is a doll. If it was a doll, I don't think it would have these details here. And when I show it up close, which I've got here, I'm not saying this word here, obviously, because um, I don't want to get censored. It'll probably get censored anyway. I think my channel's been censored for about three or four years now, since I was on Ancient Aliens, in fact. Um, as soon as I was on that program, my channel started dropping like a stone. It's still growing, but very, very slowly. My channel was growing at an exponential rate then. Um, it's still growing, but much, much slower, and is definitely censored by up to, I would say, about 80% of the views. Uh, okay, so there we are. And this is probably why, because I keep showing things that completely contradict the narrative that we're given by NASA and by the mainstream media. Okay, and this is such an image. And if I just point out very quickly what these are, I'll show you the clips where I got it from in a minute. Raw image on the left, completely raw, and a slightly enhanced colorized version on the right here. So I'm gonna zoom in real close to the, the face on this and show you the, the eye detail, even in the raw image here. You can see the eyes here. There's the nose. The eyes are pretty obvious. You can even see dark pupil detail, iris detail, mouth. If you get too close, you can't see much, but it's there. And uh, what we've got to do really is really crank up the brightness and, and contrast on this, and this will come out it, uh, quite easily, in fact. It's quite well lit, and the shadows are falling just right on this for us to see the shape really well. And if you're going close, we've got a toe here, some toes here, very small, irregular feet. There's toes there. The nose, mouth, upper lip here. There's a small chin here coming down, chubby little chin. The eye. The eyebrow detail is perfect and we have eye detail in there. Now I'm just going to brighten this up for you a bit more extremely just to prove that that eye detail is in there. Okay, let's go up again and go really bright. Now look at those eyes. You can see them in the raw image there. In fact you need to darken it as well. But in here you can see them, see? That is not a doll. And if you look down here, we have details here that prove, to me at least, that this is not a doll. This is actually what I think it is. One of these, okay? One of these things. Now, how big is this? Um, I think pretty small. 
probably only about four inch, maybe four or five inches tall, perhaps less. Um, it's tiny, but that's what you would expect. Um, let's go. Let's go in dark, and I'll show you in the roll clip here how that comes out. You can see those eyes pop. See that? I go darker again. Now look, you can see those inner eye details and mouth details here, and these details here, and the toes and everything. The the um, the arms are very foreshortened. If I zoom in here. This arm comes down like this. Okay. To there. And there's another little one here. And you've got this leg. This leg. Gentle area. And obviously the head. I mean, it's self explanatory. I don't really, I shouldn't really have to draw around any of this, really. Because we all know what these juveniles look like on Earth. This is a bit more extreme, of course, because it's on Mars. And they, a lot of them do have very enlarged craniums on Mars, as do some of our ancestors on Earth, who may have come from Mars. Okay? Now, this has been brightened, and contrast added, and it's quite a large gigapan. There's about a 60 or 70 images in here, and it's right near the centre here. Okay? You've got this large, dark rock here. This at an angle, and you follow that down in a straight line along here to here. And there it is. So how big is this? How far away is that? Probably about 20 feet from the rover, 15 or 20 feet. So this is small. This is only about four or five inches in size, maybe smaller. I wouldn't say it's any bigger than five inches, and there it is, just there. Okay? That's it. But here's the raw image with nothing done to it. There it is. And it, to me, it's pretty clear already. All you have to do is brighten it and add a bit of contrast, and that will pop. You can see those eyes, you can see the nose, you can see the mouth, you can see the head pretty clearly. There's an ear here, you can see the arms, you can see the, the belly and other details there, and you can see the feet and uh, little tiny legs, all kind of squashed up and, and calcified in the amazing Gale Crater dried out lake bed. Uh, there was this one that I found a couple of years ago. This is another Martian. I call this the bag lady. And uh, this one is holding something here. There's the head, there's the eyes, and the nose. A strange little face holding a bag here. There's a bag and a hand holding it, I think. Or so, and, and there's some detail inside this bag, like little, little, little white kind of blobs there which looked like buttons or something. So there's some really interesting stuff in there. Uh, there was also this one that was found uh, by Lani Gabor uh, last year. One of the best finds, I think, of 2019. I've done one or two videos about this, I think. Uh, this is astonishing, but this is a bit longer. Um, this is probably about six or eight inches long. This is an older juvenile, not a tiny one. It's still very small, but this is slightly older, I would say, probably a two or three years old. Probably about two, one or two years old, I don't know. It's hard to say exactly, but this one's got pins in its leg. You can see these three pins here going through the leg. So this was a cripple, which I, I found quite upsetting. Being a cripple myself, uh, I found that quite uh, unnerving, okay? So there was that one. Uh, there are some other examples I'll put in at the end as well. There's this one that I showed recently, but I, I think I rich, originally showed this a couple of years ago. This one lying in the frozen ground here was run over by the Spirit Rover. And you can see the head pretty clearly and the eye detail frozen in the ground and then run over whilst it was already dead. And you can see the feet or hands here. And you can see the tracks going right over this thing. So there's another one. There are quite a few examples of these lying around on the ground. But the one we have today is um, crazy because it's just sitting there upright, sat in the, sat in the dirt as if it was just left there up against this rubble and rocks here and somehow cal calcified in the, in the minerals. Um, 
as if it's been baked in, in um, volcanic ash or something as well, like a Pompeii style um, preservation. Absolutely un unbelievable. Just when you thought you found it all on Mars, something like this turns up. And uh, I'll probably get seriously censored for showing this. But for the public record, these things need to be seen and understood. You don't have to agree with them, but they're there and they're not going to go away just because you disagree. Uh, there are hundreds of things like this on my channel, mostly creatures and skulls and that kind of thing, but also lots of artifacts, even things that look like mobile phones and cars and tanks and all sorts of things, buildings, pyramids, loads and loads of skulls of animals and creatures and fossils and that kind of thing. And occasionally we see a mummified or calcified person like this. Uh, but this is the only one quite like this. Follow the diagonal rock near the centre, and there it is, just here. There we are. That's it. A lot of them were very small, only a few feet tall. There were some our size, five to six feet tall, and some much, much taller as well. Um, and at least about five different types of Martians who may not have all existed at the same time. They, some of them may have crossed over, some may be actual alien inhabitants that came to Mars after it was destroyed and inhabited it later. Who knows? We don't know exactly, but there were m multiple types of humanoid on Mars. Some of them look like reptilians, some of them look like humans, like this one, and some look more like insectoid types with big, big, huge heads and, and sort of almond-shaped eyes, a bit like greys. I always say, if you really, really have to enhance the hell out of an image to see something that's there, it's probably not there. If it's clear already when, he, when you're looking at the image, it, it probably is there and it's real. And I'm hoping in coming days we will get some more photographs of this area, showing this from other angles perhaps. We may not, um, but I'm hoping we do. This blew me away when I saw it, absolutely blew me away. And you can see why, because there's details in here that couldn't possibly be from a toy. Maybe they could, but I don't think so. These details are too specific, they're too perfect, and they're anatomically detailed and correct. This would not happen on a random rock, and anyone who says it does is talking out of their rear end, and you shouldn't listen to them, okay? Thanks for watching. See you soon.